Fields, we have the MX 990s, we have the 780s, we have the TRC 1080s. Oh my goodness. Call now before they're gone. Act quick. Hello? Hi, how you doing? I'm Seth with Air Theater Designs. I'm Will. We're here to talk today about Universal Remotes and specifically the URC MX 790. 790, the new guy. Yep. This. Now you're far away, so it doesn't mean much from there, but this is the new guy. That is the old guy. And uh, why are these so special? Well, I'll tell you what. If you've got a surround sound receiver, you got a cable box, you got a TV, you got an Apple TV, or the kid's got some game systems or whatever, let's say you just want to turn on TV. Normally, the order of events would be turn on your television, yeah. turn on your cable box, turn on your audio video receiver, wait about four seconds, turn on the television to the correct input, turn on your receiver to the correct input, turn on your receiver to the correct sound mode. Got to make sure that All your right. Apple TV isn't on, your That's DVD a, isn't on. It's a lot of stuff to it's control. A lot of stuff. Yeah. Yep. And then you're rocking. Most humans, let's say if the audio video gremlin came and turned this on, this off, this wrong input, most people would know how to do that. With this magic wand right here, It'll do it. You touch one button, bing, bang, boom. Everything goes where it needs to go, and things literally can't get out of whack. So um, if you have systems like that, this thing's totally a must. It is, definitely. But you do need a special certain someone to help you along with that remote, maybe? Are you a special someone, Will? E I <laughs> might be. Aren't you, too? I am a special okay. someone, yep. So I've uh, been programming these for 20 years, and um, We've got, so and since our inception about 15 years ago, we've done about 6,500 projects since then. Yeah. And so with many of those projects, they've got something like this in place. If we didn't have these in place, there's, there's no way we could stay in business. We have to go move to Timbuktu. I don't know if Timbuktu is actually a place or it's just I'm not sure. a saying. Yeah, but, it uh, sounds like a cool place though if it is. <laughs> that sounds tropical, doesn't <laughs> <Yeah>. it? <laughs> but there's no way we could support all these jobs. No. The way this thing works is when a customer pushes main and to watch TV, being that we know everything goes to the right spot every single time, the client calls and says, hey, I got a problem. I'm pushing this button. It's not taking us to TV. We know this thing isn't the culprit, and we know that all of your components have gone to the right spot. So it makes any sort of troubleshooting very easy for us. We can go, oh, okay, did you try unplugging and plugging your cable box in? Nope, that fixed the problem, as opposed to trying to go through what input could it be, what sound mode could it be, and all the other elements that apply. So, yep. um, you know, some of the things you have a two inch screen. The two inch Ooh. screen, th this guy was 1.5. That's the old one. That's yeah. the old one there. We can give that guy the boot. And, um, this is a new one, but so large color screen, so it's nice because you can see it at night, which lots of remotes that just have kind of like a black and white display, you can't. It's got all the buttons that you normally would need to use, things like your one through nine and zero, up, down, left, right, select, your guide, your menu, your record, um, and anything else that's strange or wacky, we can hide on the screen so you don't have to deal with it. Yeah. The biggest thing with a universal remote is simplicity. You don't want to know how these things work, what your, many of our clients are. You just, sure. you just wanted to, want to hey, I want to get home, I had a long day, let me lie on the couch and watch TV. This thing allows you to do it without throwing a football through yeah. the TV because nope. you're a little bent out of shape. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they want it hassle-free, just touch a button and have their Blu-ray player or watch cable. Simple, one touch, and then the remote turns into your other remote. Oh, technical difficulties. <laughs> That's what happens when you use the other manufacturer's universal remote. Um, so let's talk about the other manufacturer's yeah, universal let's, remote. Let's do it. Um, Seriously, do I it. don't want to get sued, do it. so I won't mention their name, but it rhymes with Schmarmony. Yeah, that's, that sounds really similar. <laughs> I don't get sued for that, right? No, Schmarmony. So um, there's a remote that's very popular out there and that we get lots of new clients where we go to their home and they go, I hate my universal remote. We go. Oh, why? Is it the rhymes with Schmarmany? They go, yes, how did you know? And it'll be some form of everything getting out of whack, things not making sense. So here's the difference between what you find with the brand that rhymes with Schmarmany and some other uh, kind of more inexpensive brands that are out yeah. there. They use a thing called power tracking. What power tracking tries to do is when you turn on the TV, it's trying to use internal tracking saying, okay, what's on right now? Are you on TV? Are you on cable box? Are you on receiver? But it doesn't know if you hit K 
table twice, it doesn't know if things are on or off. So sometimes things that should be on will flip back to off and then everything gets out of whack. So then you turn the system off, things go off and other things go back on and you're like, what's going on here? Everything yeah. needs to turn off. So they have a help button and you push help. And it goes, did this work? No. Did this work? No. Did this work? No. Did this work? It gets a little annoying, right? And you have to do that every time. It doesn't actually learn like, oh, that's a sequence that works. So Yeah, the first time it's cool and fun. You're like, oh, my remote's smart. <laughs> I and did something. Yeah, <laughs> and then after a while, you're like, wait a minute. It's it's never doing everything it should be or that on paper it's it was claiming to do. And then I was just thinking about it right now. I wonder if that was like an early like generation um, beta version of uh, CEC or if that's where CEC came from. The whole... Yeah. I don't know. Where the equipment's talking to each other, but possible. I'm back on track, though. <laughs> but um, so, anyways, the remotes that we sell don't use this power tracking nonsense. They use what we call in the industry discrete or smart codes. And what smart codes are is if half the things are on, half are off, you turn off the system. The things that are on are going to flip to off. The things that are off are going to go. Hey, I'm already off. I'm not going to flip back to on. I'm staying off because I am smart. When you use smart codes or discrete codes, you don't have that sort of issue. So no. URC, they use discrete codes with all their stuff. Uh, and we make sure that we provide equipment that uses smart codes. Most pieces of equipment do these days. But sometimes, you know, if I buy an off-brand TV that's got 21 letters and starts with a Q, I just made that up, so I don't know if that exists. But you get the point. Yeah. Off-brand gear sometimes won't have these smart codes, but URC does. So kind of the combination of smart codes, good programmers like Will, um, and um, you know, having the right gear will ensure that, again, as opposed to you throwing this equipment out the window, you can actually enjoy your stuff, and that's what URC's MX790 does. Uh, this guy uses double A's. Four of them. Four of them. When you go up the ladder in the remotes, they have some models that are rechargeable. They have some that have larger screens. Yeah. They have some that have full back lighting, so all this stuff down here lights up like a Christmas tree, easier to see at night. But for many of our systems, the 790 is the most basic one in our lineup, and it does a great job controlling uh, virtually anything you need to. Yeah. Um, the only thing that this remote doesn't do is we have what we call one-way remotes and two-way remotes. One-way remotes are designed for you know basic surround sound system, surround sound system and some speakers outside, TV, DVD player. It's not giving you two-way information, meaning when I push a button to say, hey, to watch TV, it's spitting that information out one way. Two-way would then tell us on a remote something like, oh, you're watching CBS on Cox Cable, or I might be controlling um, music through my Blu-ray player, and two-way would spit back to me, hey, you're listening to Pandora Internet Radio and the Beatles. So. We have those sort of options, and some of the other things you can do are smart lighting, you can do full home automation, you can do shades, drapes, but for our clients that don't need that stuff, you can save a lot of money, get an MX790, and you're on your way. Yeah, and for the tech geeks, it's uh, it's got USB Type-C, and we did a little battle test for download time. It was about 54 seconds. The old 780, MX780, which was a USB to USB mini, which is pretty dated by today's standards. And that one would take about two minutes and 20 seconds. So that's a pretty big difference. You're cutting it, you know, less than half the time to, to download. So that's going to make you more efficient for, for the integrator, installers, programmers on the 780. And then it's got a microprocessor. The chipset's a ARM, kind of like what your iPhone smartphone uses. So... Yeah, this thing should be a little beast and handle all our programming well. Yep. Uh, if you're buying it, make sure you do it through an authorized dealer. You'll find a yeah. lot of places like on Amazon and that, where as you may know, if it's on Amazon, it doesn't mean it's Amazon. We see all the time where it's a guy selling out of the back of his truck. He has a store yeah, on Amazon. That's Trunk Slam Tony. His, yeah, his store <laughs> is a 1983 Yugo. The problem is if you buy it, let's say it goes bad two weeks later, when you send it back to Trunk Slam Tommy, that was a good name, by the way. <laughs> um, when you send it back to Trunk Slam Tommy, he's going to say, oh, call URC. URC is going to go, oh, show us your receipt. And they're going to go, no, you bought it from Trunk Slam Tommy. You yeah. Know, it's effectively like buying the a Rolex from the guy with the big fur coat. Yeah, and that's... Back in 1980, early 80s movies, you know? <laughs> yeah. Hey, and he's got Rolexes the whole way through, and it's, you know, yeah, a and $20 all... watch instead of a $5,000 watch. Yeah, and the odds are he probably wouldn't answer your phone call or your email. He just... 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> Get the ignore card. button to where yeah. yeah, you buy from a from a actual dealer, a URC dealer, you're going to get taken care of. Yep. You'll find them on the website or you can go through us, Air Theater Designs, if you're in the Southern California area. But that's about all I got. Anything yeah. Got? Yeah, no, it's a good remote. So, uh, yeah, look forward to programming more and you know, get maybe give you a couple updates and reviews to how the customers like them. There we go. Thank you very much. Have, Have a good, a good one. day. <laughs>